everything about Ganondorf is aggressive. Yeah, Point you blank. kind of have to. You don't only have great defensive options in terms of forcing approaches. Right. And with... <laughs> I mean, obviously, Captain Falcon has incredible speed, so he wants to do the approaching more often than not. Konkydorf will do uh, a great job of just kind of waiting back and baiting out some options, seeing what Weston uh, throws out at him, and if he catches him unsafe, you know, okay, we got something, something to work with. How many Nair ones was that in the last five seconds? Uh, uh, just enough. Just enough to put him in the driver's seat. Now, uh, definitely Weston pushing Konkydorf all the way to the edge. Goes for the, the reverse knee, too, to try to get the stage spike. Yeah. I do want to note that Konky will always hold, pretty much almost always hold down to that up beat. Just mm. try to just poke through with that uh, hit, the hitbox on the up For upbeat. sure. For sure. And it's a smart option, especially against Captain Falcon, who wants to do a pretty aggressive edge guard. Oh. But there it is. Get, get a little too close, and you're, you're playing with fire, and obviously now you get burned. You lose your first stock, and that's a great trade for Conky. Yeah, what, 150% to about 50? Yeah, exactly. You literally make up that deficit and then some. So now the momentum is yours if you're able to utilize it. Yeah, and there we go. There, there it is. is. I do wonder there, if he's going to get punished, ever get punished for it. You're just swinging up airs there. Right. I think if Weston took a, a, a quick step back, he's able to go to the... Wow, okay, I like it. Weston with the aggressive option off stage. He definitely wants to close these stocks as soon as possible to try to... Never mind. Yeah, and Conky is calling right. down that dare. That, All right. He has been daring multiple times. But what a trade. Like, the fact that that traded and then Conky Dorf's just like, great, I take the stock. Yeah. And just punishing that side beyond mm -hmm. on shield. And he goes for another side B, which is kind of interesting. Um, I love it, though. We're definitely seeing uh, some interesting interesting punishes, stuff that you probably wouldn't expect. Yeah, I mean, so right now, off stage, you, you know you know, Conky's ready to edge guard those if necessary. Yep. Okay. Wow. Gets right up. Obviously, Weston not uh, going to get put into a tech situation. He's literally just, you know, put, picking the right options to at least get him out of the mix. However, he's still in danger zone. Like 100, yeah, 100 is F tilt percent. Sparta kick right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tried to, yeah. he tried to punish the, um, try to punish the down B. Mm. I assume he thought that Konky was gonna down B, um, get the edge cancel. I can see that. Yeah. I don't think he got it. No. I think he missed the edge cancel, and then the Elfie just put him in a punishable state. Yeah. So a bit of an unfortunate situation, but um, Konky Dorf definitely will take that uh, that advantage and run with it as best as he can going into game two. Uh, Weston definitely just needs to, like I said, find the right approach options because he's he's going in as I would expect, right? He's got the speed, he wants to utilize it. However, it's just finding the right option and then Konkydorf playing as patiently as he needs to. Um, if you're able to then set the set the tone, set the, the rhythm of the game, like, Weston could turn this right around and of course, a great stage for Captain Falcon, Kalos. So, uh, no surprise there. Yeah, the, I do wonder the band silks, I'm not. Well, actually, I do know a lot of um, Ganons actually do like the stage too. I know uh, Rickles is a big fan of it. Yeah, for the, for many of the same reasons that uh, that obviously Captain Falcon can use them. Up on on the side platforms are really good. They're both just they both want style. Mm -hmm. They want mm -hmm. something. They want to go home, post it on Twitter. Yeah, they want the clips exactly. I mean, I mean that's the thing. Like this is like I said, a hype matchup and good drift there from the upbeat from Weston. Really nice stuff. But then getting caught with the upbeat himself. Oh, he's just trying to go low off the wall jump. Getting eaten up Jeez. here. Jeez, yeah, he's really going for it. So now Konkydorf looking real nice, sitting at 68%, and he's like fully well aware that he's able to play freely. Yeah, and this. Oh, not getting the speed spot confirmed. Either. But yeah, if you're Watson, you're trying to find a kill right now. You right. really can't afford to take much more damage. But against Ganon, you will. Yeah. Ganon, Ganon can start swinging at times. Absolutely. Um, and once he gets swinging, like, it's hard to get him to stop. He is absolutely going to press advantage as much as possible because he is that heavy playstyle. And although Captain Falcon is, is like, the same strength but fast, like, I mean, weston has got the ability to pull this right back. He's, you know, he's got great options himself. Yeah. And right now, this offstage, not going not to take a punish, but that up smash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So despite the uh, the wall jump, just to try to mix things up off stage, uh, Weston does fall prey to the sword of Ganondorf. That is one of the major differences we talked about earlier. And now he's going to find potentially a tech situation, but the get up attack actually buys him a little bit of time to uh, to get back to neutral. Yeah, right. Oh, oh. okay. No, he's okay. Okay, okay. He's, yeah. yeah, he's fishing. 
But that's the thing, he's able to pr play freely, just like I talked about. And now he's really, okay, ends up getting okay for it because of this, the FB like, requirement. Yeah, and it's right there. There was really no risk in that. Exactly. You take a little bit of percent, but hey, whatever. It's your Ganondorf. What's a little bit of percent? Oh. He's still getting these he's, soft I knees. I think that saved him. Yeah. But he can't get back now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it bought him a little bit of time, but still, like, two soft knees, like, eventually, you're pushing your luck a little bit. Yep. Ooh, wow. And then that up air on that platform will yeah. take that stock. Excellent and reads. Set. Excellent reads. And again, like, Captain Falcon would have done the same thing in the same situation if the roles were reversed. That platform allows for things like that. And that's why these characters, both of these characters can benefit from all this stuff. It's hard to pick a, car like, a stage as Captain Falcon against Ganondorf because it's like, what am I going for? Probably the same kinds of things that he's going for. And I don't want that. Yeah. 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 Um, definitely. I feel like a lot of people would expect to go the other way. That's just how. But we did see a lot right. of great punishes on um, from mm -hmm. on um, Watson's yeah. approaches to play in the air. Sometimes he would eat. Uh, he ate like at least two up smashes for it. Yeah. Um, Konky was calling out a lot of the options off ledge I know. too really well. So in the last stock, we saw in the up the uppy, mm -hmm. um, the uppy check. Yeah. There were a lot of upbeat checks, honestly. Like, they were just kind of, like, trading them on stage and off. Like, literally, uh, Weston was doing a great job of catching Konkydorf's jumps on, like, center stage um, just by going for upbeat. And I think it was it was good, but it just wasn't getting him the leverage he needed. So, it's interesting. Um, I, I'll, probably, I'll probably hop off. I'm going to be on later, so I'm going to, you know, take a break. It was fun. 